I'm, I'm able to do. I have literally nothing left of Phil's material, which um, says a lot because it was a big collection. Um, I do have connections in Indonesia and, and a few other countries um, where you can get petrified woods, but they're not, they don't have the colors and things that, that his materials had. So this really does, it's like I said, it's a, it's a mixture of several different petrified woods. Uh, that we had remaining and so we just kind of put together kind of one of our last designs. Hey Jay, do you still marvel at what nature does with, to, with gemstones? Well, well, you know, everything, I mean, you know what I, what's cool about what I do is I tell people this all the time. It's like, uh, it's like uh, Christmas 24-7-365, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> because when you're out there, especially when you're out in the field and you're going and you find this stuff, I mean, you know, like you could get something that you know, like you think you've seen it all. I've been doing this for 45 years. And you think, oh, you know, I've seen it all. I'm not gonna ever find anything new. And um, Mother Nature, she's really funny because you can get something that you're just, you know, one of the, the hard things to try to teach anybody is don't walk away from different materials. And something like this, it can, if you see this in the natural state, you might just walk right by it. Right. You cut it, you polish it, and then you see what it really does. It's like opening a Christmas present. It's really, truly uh, fantastic fun. Uh, I like designing with them, and I like to keep things simple. Um, you can tell I designed this. It's kind of on the bigger side. Uh, really contemporary kind of a, a look. But look, at, think about this, okay? It's not just the raw material, the pe natural petrified wood that went into this. It's the artists, they actually do this all by hand. There, this isn't some huge automated machine that does this. And you know how you can tell that if you, you know, kind of go in close on these beads, you'll see some of them are a little fatter, some of them are a little thinner, some of them are a little oblong. Well, if that's because they're hand done. If they were done by machine, right, they would be more precise or be uh, pretty much the same, same, same. And that's the beauty of these. You get a natural material. There's no, you know, like the one that Valerie's wearing, the one that you're showing right now, Suzanne, they're all unique and different in their own right. There are no two of these, even though they're the same basic design, because of the nature of the raw material, the natural petrified wood, they'll all be uniquely different in their own right. There's no two of these that will be totally identical. You can see there where they have different shades and colors. That's because it's all cut from the natural rough material. There's no two of them that will be identical. Love that. All right, you guys, continue to guess online, which I love, of what our mystery stone is. Susan says teal appetite. Margaret, neon appetite. Katie says teal appetite. Martha, teal appetite. And that's gorgeous necklace, stunning, wow, with a beautiful heart, which is lovely. Barb says teal appetite, so vibrant. Linda's guessing blue agate, which I love that. Martha says, ladies, oh, more shopping and five flex and clearance after. Oh, thank you, Martha. Martha's helping us out here. Yeah, if you guys want to go online, if you spend $75 or more on any of our, any of our clearance items, um, and I believe you'll find a couple clearance items from Jay, um, you will get free shipping. And you can use that over and over again. So just keep doing that. If you want to clearance anything we have uh, through tomorrow, and the five flex is through tomorrow as well. So a little heads up. Thanks, Martha, for letting everybody know. Sherry's guessing teal appetite. Martha, I have a few pieces from Jay uh, from the Kingman Turquoise, and it's gorgeous. Well, Martha, you're one of the rare people and lucky people to be able to have that. Nancy is guessing teal appetite. Appetite. Caroline says blue opal. Caroline, it's teal appetite. She changed. Oh, same Caroline. She had a second thought on that one. Uh, Catherine, love the petrified wood beaded necklace. And Suzanne, you look beautiful. Good to see you and Jay. Catherine, thank you. That was so darn sweet of you. I really appreciate that. All right, guys, I have to give you an update. There's 900 of the wood, uh, the wood uh, petrified wood beaded necklace left. I do have the earrings. Um, Got to give you an update on the Kingman, though. I'm hoping at least one will be left. <laughs> and what's kind of cool about that is because it's 36 inches. Oh, is it sold out? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Are the earrings still left? No, the earrings. The earrings are sold out too? Okay, is the ring still left? And what sizes, please? Okay, guys, we have fewer than 200 of the ring. I'm gonna keep it on my finger. And we have less than 
Oh, five through 12, but less than 200. Sorry, I'm getting live up updates for everybody. Yeah, don't miss out. It's Kingman, for gosh sakes. Now, if you want another brilliant, bright blue turquoise, hang on, because I got a little something I'm going to show you. So we've got a lot to get to as we roll into and are kind of five minutes in our newest hour. Um, love this show. Jay's with me. We've got a lot to talk about. So many great pieces coming up. Check this one out. This is our first item in, we're going to mention it too, real quick. This is called the Sea Flower Stone Necklace. We're going to get to that first. Very unusual right we have listen to this it's three this day only so this is the presentation right kevin okay so sorry about that jay we're going to do this real quick guys wildly limited lowest price we've ever done price only available right now we've got the necklace and the earrings what in the world is sea flower stone jay okay this is it comes out of madagascar very very limited in fact you're looking at the last of the last of the material that we used um the, i think this was the very last design we did uh, it, it, just the design alone is very unique. This material is extremely unique. Um, it's not found anywhere else that I know of in the world. Uh, I don't have any more of the rough, very, very small deposit. So if you want something that's unique, different, this is highly collectible. All right, so there it is. Short and sweet, guys. Very limited. The price ends tonight at midnight. Length is 18 inches, and of course, you have your two and three quarter inch extender. All right, here we go. If you missed out on the Kingman turquoise, which you because you you bought it because you love that bright, vibrant blue, I missed out on it too. I'm a little bit sad about it. Check this out. This is actually red skin, and again, look at the quality and the brightness of the turquoise. You get this amazing pendant. Now, I'll tell you what. Take that necklace you just bought and put that pendant on it and wear it long. That would be breathtaking taking you also get the necklace to go with it jay this is red skin turquoise where do you find that okay well you don't that's the thing okay <laughs> this is, and valerie has it okay look okay here's red skin okay i just want to show you the reason they call it red skin can you see this red look okay all i did was cut this i haven't done anything all i did is just and then just barely hit it with a polish and that's what makes red skin turquoise red skin turquoise you can't get this yeah, there's no way to get it. The only way to get it is out of like a private collection. You're looking at some of the last of the last of the designs I was able to do. This material pops. I mean, the color of it is amazing. It comes out of a, a mine that you've actually seen B-roll of, of this mine um, where, that I, where I'm going down into the stove. It, um, it, uh, it used to be in World War II, it was uh, started as a tin mine. The Japanese uh, actually are the ones that, uh, that actually started the mine. They found turquoise later in it. And what happens, they had the tailings pond, they had a tailings dam and that broke. And so um, where you see me going down, you literally, I, you know, I went down into the mine. I'm walking through the mine, through the, the tunnels. I mean, this, it's really an amazing, amazing deposit. And this is like 15 years ago, right? Um, that right now is a giant lake. No <laughs> so if you, Ooh, that's you crazy. Win, there, I mean, it's just a giant lake. There's no, there's none of this turquoise. Uh, it's uh, extremely, extremely rare. All right, guys, so $120 off right now. I've got two dozen left, and it's a this day only. Jump on that. The necklace, by the way, is included, and that's going to be your mother of pearl, which is just beautiful, right? What a pretty way to combine turquoise and mother of pearl together. All right, one more this day only. It's pretty fun. I have 80 of these, $57 off, only for right now today, 18 inches long. It's a silver, purple, sapphire beaded necklace. Jay, the, that's highly uh, unexpected because typically if you are talking sapphire and you move to the reds, then you move to the world of ruby, but this is considered a silver purple sapphire. This is purple and this comes out of Mozambique. Okay, it's very rare. I don't have, I, I'm tr I'm working on this. This is one of the, the things I'm working on. I'm getting a lot of my gem materials right now out of Mo Mozambique. I've got a great connection there. Uh, also Zambia, Ethiopia, We're, we get a lot going on. Okay, but see this, this, this is the natural crystal that that's what now this is a specimen you, normally they're not this big right this is actually a specimen do you look at the color of this this is a natural purple so the reason i'm showing you this th nothing's been done to this this isn't heat treated uh they haven't radiated it in any way they haven't uh, done any kind of oil treat to it uh what you're seeing here is the natural purple when you get that home like when you're seeing it on the air you've seen it in the studio um the necklace looks almost like, it has almost like a red tone to it, but really it is a natural purple. 
And we're gonna have to move off of that again, really limited, but the kind of neat thing about it this day only, it's like a today's special, super low price, only good until midnight tonight. All right, now we're moving on. A lot of you guys are still guessing. Michael says he loves you, which is lovely. Uh, Penny says, name that stone, aquamarine. Amos says, it's literally teal appetite. Well, maybe it is, maybe it's not. <laughs> You guys are doing a great job guessing, by the way. Um, and if you have a question for Jay, please feel free. Um, we're on HSN uh, Live on our Facebook page, and we'd love to hear from you. All right, this is much like the petrified wood. This is another one of nature's real miracles. And I think a lot of times, for some of us, um, it's like tough to wear big jewelry because a lot of people say, well, it's heavy or what have you. You want to always go for amber. Amber literally floats. It is as light as a feather. But look at this amazing, bold look that you're getting in this fantastic necklace it's so beautiful we have the matching earrings we have this stunning cuff and we have the matching ring to go with it the rings 5 through 12 the cuff I have about 80 I do not have a lot of rings the earrings are an inch and 7 sixteenths of an inch by the way we still have that chrome diopside coming up the magnificent chrome diopside you're going to see that and we will reveal indeed exactly what the necklace I'm wearing is and our mystery stone so Jay I find that amber is another one of those amazing Amazing stones because it's so old. And have you seen that new discovery where they found a full animal in the amber? Did you see that story? Yeah, uh, you know, they're worth a fortune. I have, if you ever come to my personal man cave, I've, I've got things that I've collected over the years. I have scorpions, <gasps> uh, like ancient scorpions. I've wow. got um, all kinds of flora. Like I've got like this one thing that looks like a fern leaf that's inside of the amber. You know, what it is, it's, uh, you know, they, they've discovered over 1,500 different insect species. And I'm talking just insects. I'm, you know, there's other things too, you know, flora and fauna um, that are no longer, that are extinct. But they existed millions of years ago. All the amber that you see from us is uh, 30, 50 million years old. And for what people, this is what they call an or organic gem material or organic gemstone is what they refer to it like a pearl. Amber is the same thing. It started off, and what it is is it's actually fossilized tree sap. It's very rare. What you're looking at here, though, let me explain what this is, okay? This comes from the Baltic Sea, okay? Uh, I get this. I don't get it anymore. That's the problem. <laughs> I get, this is the, what you're seeing right there is actually how they harvest it. Uh, after storms in the Baltic Sea, or the divers, um, in some cases they'll go down. That used to be they'd go down and break. But this is the average size of this material. That's actually what what you're seeing there. It, it's very small. You don't get any really big pieces. This is material the amber the the okay number one the butterscotch amber is the rarest of the rarest of the colors of. Um, amber. You don't get it everywhere. Uh, very few, um, very few locations in the world where you do find uh, amber do you have this color. And this is, I just, I brought these two samples just to show you. Okay, this is the butterscotch rough. This is the natural rough. This is a fairly large piece. And you can see, here's the texture. This was fossilized resin. So this was, you know, this, you're, you're looking at something, I'm holding something in my hand that's at least 30 if not 50 million years old. And you got that beautiful butterscotch color. This is material that came out, you can see, I bring you this, because it's got the tree bark still on it, the tree look. Now, this amber, it comes from the same location, but the butterscotch, uh, this material, less than 5% of the, of the amber that you get is the butterscotch. This is a brand new process that we came up to, and this is what's really great about what we do. Um, is that we we're able to take material that we have and we're able to actually figure out processes by which we can use the small material and make it big like this and really make some big, bold looks and also keep the price down. There's nobody else out there that is doing this or, as far as I know, even knows how to do this or, to be honest with you, that even has the material that they could do it with. So this is a brand new look we're doing. I hope you, you really kind of like it, enjoy it. I love, I love the natural uh, nugget kind of look, the natural pieces in this. 
Look at the size of this on Valerie. I mean, this is this is like massive. Yeah, and here's amazing. the cool thing about it, though. And just like Suzanne was saying, the cool thing about amber, you can get like huge, big, bold pieces, but it doesn't. It's not like an anchor around your neck. Right. Um, yeah. You know, like it, yeah. You know, so if you've got a neck problem, or you know, like in my case, I've got a couple of crushed vertebrae in my neck, and I, you know, anything that I can, you know, anything that's like a uh, helmets or anything like that. I can't really wear them for a long time because it compresses my vertebrae. Right. Um, this is something that even neck where a lot of people say, they, they're so kind. They always say, gee, I love the designs. I love the big bold look, but it's so heavy it hurts my neck. <laughs> <laughs> so this is something that you could, you could have something big and bold, unique and different and still, uh, you know, wearable. it's very comfortable. Yes, yeah, wildly extreme. wearable. I just want you to see, look at the artistry and that hand craftsmanship on that cuff. Is that not stunning? And that's all sterling silver. And then the ring, see how they've mimicked the design on the ring? And you have the necklace, and of course we have the earrings. So if you want to do the whole suite, it's all available on five flex pays. Now, I gotta give you some updates. You are loving some turquoise today, which I totally appreciate that. Uh, here's an update though on the, this day only, the turquoise with the mother of pearl. Yep, it's complete. complete. You guys got such an awesome deal on that. I can't wait for you to wear each of those pieces separately too, because that pendant is fabulous. And then you also have like a set of pearls. Oh, you're gonna love it, I know you're gonna love it. I get excited about this stuff. Absolutely get excited. All right, next item up is one of your all-time favorites. You have made it a customer pick, and it's actually jade. And it's interesting because when you think jade, uh, you don't necessarily associate it with Jay, uh, although he's brought us jade over the last couple of years, and it's beautiful. This is going to be what's called the Nephrite Jade, and it's a full collection. We have the necklace, I have the ring, and I have the matching earrings. And by the way, I'll keep you updated on the amber. Quite frankly, if you don't have an amber piece yet, I really hope you try it. I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised at how wonderful it is to wear and especially that color going into spring and summer my gosh wearing it with khakis and all those wonderful lighter colors that we love in the summertime fabulous all right nephrite this is nephrite jade and green amber together now that's really neat right and this is of course beaded necklace it is on sale and once again it is one of your favorites the stud earrings are five sixteenths of an inch the ring is available in five through twelve unfortunately the necklace and the ring are both very limited i only have a little over a hundred in each. All right, Jay, so this is a very interesting combination. Yeah, let me tell you something. If you want something collectible, you better tell me this one because I'll tell you the deep right. But don't feel like, okay, if, you know, don't buy this. And, you know, keep your budget in mind, okay? You know, that would break my heart if you, you know, you didn't. But here's the thing this is deep right cool. jade, okay? It's the only jade, natural jade. This is a natural green jade that comes out of Pakistan. I actually found this. Um, when I, I went, I was actually on a lapis trip in search of lapis, which is another story, right? And um, because of that, and I got skunked on the lapis, um, and skunk mean I got zero, okay? And I was found this jade. That being said, this nephrite jade, I still have a little bit that I'm working with. We went to try to get more of this material. Oh my gosh, the, the price. Now that, it, that it's been discovered as a natural jade and everything and everybody's getting on the bandwagon, the prices have gone up. This necklace, the jade portion would be three to 500% more. Right I mean, it's just crazy what they're getting right here, for it. Yeah. Okay, this combination, okay, if you want oh, something this. rare, this is Colombian green amber, okay? Wow. <laughs> it doesn't so cool. exist. It's so hard, it's so expensive. And I did this combination uh, this is the last remaining few that we did, that we had enough material that we could do. I'm just telling you right now, I, can't, I would love to bring more of this back. I would love to combine the Nephrite Jade, which is that beautiful emerald green, with this really bright green um, amber out of Columbia, but um, both materials, well, I can't, the Jade material, um, the price has just gone through the roof. It, uh, they're still mining it, uh, but now it's been discovered. We were the very first ones that actually bought from them. And at that time, I negotiated a really hard deal because I basically said, it's not Jade. They swore it was. They had no report though. So, and as far as this, that combination of that beautiful Nephrite Jade, natural Jade from Pakistan, and then what really sets that off is that very rare 
very limited Colombian green amber. That's amazing. And Capricorn and PA says about this one, you can dress it up or down, sparkles to high heaven. Shades of green are just gorgeous. Big win, Jay, with an exclamation point. Debbie says, I love the look of this necklace. When I opened the box, it was breathtaking. It's so much more beautiful in person. It is. I can't <coughs> wait till you guys see it. Uh, Janice in Connecticut says, uh, to get the green jade and the amber together is a real bonus. I'm really happy with my purchase. Now, there are the earrings. Once again, they're 15th, 16th of an inch. The rings available in 5 through 12. The highlight, though, is this highly unusual combination. Green amber, you just never, ever see it. And then look at how big these jade pieces are. Once again, understand, these are huge, huge, big, faceted pieces of jade. I mean, gosh, just to try to do that again at what? What are we doing? Uh, we're at, uh, what, 148? It was originally 172. Jay, quite frankly, can't find it, nor can he... Um, do that price again. There's just absolutely no way. And oh my gosh, if you've got all that camo and all those olive colors we've loved over this last couple of years, just if you can afford it and swing it and use our five flex, great time to pick it up. Uh, once again, there's a look at the ring, all done in sterling silver and a lot of it. And there's the earrings. All right. Is it time to officially name the stone? And then I got some more fun comments because yes, the vast majority of you were absolutely right. Uh, there's so many happy, correct guesses tonight for the teal appetite necklace. Shout outs to Caroline, HWC and Ellen A. Thanks for playing along. Yeah, you, tons of you guys got it right. That was great. And then some of you went online and looked it up, which I totally appreciate that too. <laughs> and I do, I'm going to get to some more comments because I really love it. You know, you, you are a huge part of this show and you're a huge part of what we do here at HSN. And I think it's fun that we can communicate uh, using, you know, the internet while we're live on the air. So just to get a couple in real quick, Angie, it definitely looks like teal appetite against your white top. Yep, it is. Uh, Darlene's says, I love my J. King jewelry. My favorite bracelet is the angel wing and turquoise received for Christmas from my sister. She lost her husband in May and would love to get it engraved. I think that is a beautiful sentiment. Jeannie says, now that I can see that mystery necklace on Suzanne, I think everyone is right. It does look like teal appetite. Congratulations! If you guys guessed it, that was right. I love it. And uh, Amo Maurice is giving us help with the item number if you all want to order it. So thank you, Amo Marie. Says, uh, Amo Marie says, I own a teal appetite necklace from Jay, so definitely know this stone. Well, you do. Absolutely. And look at how great this is. Here's your opportunity to get it on sale. You get this amazing necklace once again. And look at this. This is highly unusual. Instead of the pendant being separate, he's taken a very, very large, a beautiful stone and actually did a faceted large heart. In fact, I'm getting my trusty ruler out because this one is big, big, big. Look at that. It is an inch and a half in its width from the top down, just the heart alone, that's an inch, and it's all faceted on both sides. Now, just to really make it tempting, we also have this amazing matching necklace, and of course, I have heart earrings to go with it, so send some love, share love, or wear a little love with this collection. All right, Jay, you went for it with this one. I completely appreciate this look. You know, and this is a, this is a, it comes out of Madagascar. It's a, uh, a lady friend of ours, actually. Uh, I was hoping that she was going to be in Tucson this year. Um, we haven't seen her in, uh, I haven't seen her in three years now. We communicate with her all the time. And um, we are, they are mining and we are getting new discoveries out of Madagascar. We're having a little trouble shipping and getting things out of the country right now. But um, hopefully that that's going to lighten up. It, it does seem like it's getting better around the world. This is one of the most amazing appetite, and this is a natural appetite. As far as I know, I've never seen another appetite like this. Uh, I'm really I'm so happy that so many people got this they guess because it. you know it's Isn't it's really fun? to tell you the truth. Yeah, it's not, it's not a material that you see all the time, or that you even this. This is as, as far as I know, and I'm going to qualify this. Okay, as far as I know, we own every bit of this material that ever came out of the ground. Um, this was, this comes in a stope. It's a small stope that where they go in and, uh, they actually open this up. If you can imagine, it's kind of like usually kind of like a room on, under the ground and they broke it, they break into the stope and they're, they actually harvest the crystals, the appetite crystals. Um, this is a really rare form of appetite. It's got the most amazing color. And this is what this is, a, is one of the crystals that I took and all I did is polish it. Look at all the different colors in this. Isn't that it's amazing? Really cool. Sparkles yeah. and gleams. Yeah. It it's almost like it's almost like uh, it almost is kind of like it looks like you know Mother Nature's lit it from within. 
Mm. It's a really unique material, very rare. And this is, uh, here again, guys, we cut this for people who haven't shopped with us and don't know what we do. We're extremely niche business. Everything you're seeing here, you can only find this on, on our show, okay, on the MindFind show. These aren't, we don't make them for anybody else. We're the manufacturers. We make everything from scratch. Everything, this is all done from the natural appetite crystals from the rough, we hand carve everything. Everything is done in-house. All the designs are done in-house. All the silver work is done in-house. And then we bring it directly here to you. Well, so the, they're really unique, not only unique materials, but they're unique design. I got to tell you, Jay, I love the fact that you attach the pendant to that big boulder. I mean, those are really big pieces. And here's the thing. You, I, I want to show you this, too. Okay. If you're at home and you're watching, you're like, how big is that pendant part, right? That bottom drop. I'm going to put it on my wrist like it's a bracelet. Look at how giant. If you'd sell nothing else, just let's do this, everybody. How big would that be? And again, you know, I'm not a little petite thing, okay? But look at how big that center stone would be. So I hope you can truly, I hope you see that at home. I'm sure you do, but I really want people to appreciate just how much rough he used. I mean, it's so much better to make a whole lot of little stones out of this big rough he started with than just saying, well, I'm gonna go for it. But that is what Jay does so special. Also notice this little ring, I love this. He didn't have to do it, his designers didn't have to do it. But notice, there's open work. And there's not only a heart on the front, bezel set, beautifully checkerboard faceted so it plays with the light but he added an extra heart on both sides on the shoulder of the ring so you have that open work but look at the amount of sterling silver this is one if you've been watching for a couple of hours you know hour and a half now or so this is the one i really really hope you'll try we've had some great pieces we've had a lot of sellouts already but this is one of those that when it comes around and it is rare i was even shocked it's a customer pick because normally jay cannot repeat his jewelry so to be able to have another shot at this one that teal appetite being so rare. Those of you who figured it out, I think is amazing because this is really is an unusual stone, but chances are you've seen Jay and like uh, like uh, Amo uh, Marie owns, you know, owns teal appetite and really it can resonate with you. And it's a lovely addition to your wardrobe. This is gonna be so much fun to wear it. You're just gonna be so happy when you have it on. Indeed, it is gorgeous. Uh, Ro loves the stone. They did earrings with it in a different configuration. Oh, not into heart. So I'm sorry about that, but I love hearts, so I'm okay. But I do love it, and I think it's a great addition to pick it up tonight. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, I love this. Ro also said she loved that Verisite, Jay. Never saw that stone so clean and pure before. Can you talk about that, what Ro has to say about it? Yeah, you know, and I'm glad she appreciates that. Yeah, and that is the cleanest Verisite I've ever, ever seen in my entire 45-year career. I've bought a lot of Verisite. There's a lot of people that own Verisite and they don't know it. They thought they bought turquoise and they bought Verisite. Oh, a lot of the seventies, <laughs> a lot of a lot of the turquoises that were that were being sold as turquoise uh, was Verisite back in the seventies. And it, you know, uh, just a few more elements in Verisite would be turquoise. But as far as Verisite, if you're going to get Verisite that comes out of Beaver, Utah, from the uh, Penny family, that by far. 100% is the finest verisite I've ever seen in my career. And can you guys do me a favor? Can you grab that verisite from the first hour? I'm going to show you exactly what he's talking about. So if you didn't see it, we'll show it to you again because it is absolutely spectacular. Um, Jay, now this is very surprising that you had enough to actually do a reorder on this because I can't tell you how often our group, our buying group will go, hey, Jay, that did really well. Could you make it again? And he literally laughs at him. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. He just well, like, no. <laughs> Well, and I don't laugh to be mean, right, okay? Right. And it took a long time. I'm, it's not like I want to disappoint anybody or that I want to make it. The big thing, and the big thing we ran into this is this, okay? We had to, we had to take all of our three cutting shops and we had to put, uh, gather this, uh, what we had left. We bought everything that came out of the ground in this material, okay? That's it. They have no more. They're not money anymore. That was that one um, now, are we going to have more appetite? Uh, yes. Okay. We've got different ones. This teal appetite, though, it came out of that one stove. We bought everything that came out of it. We, we had an exclusive on it. We took it all. Now, that being said, when they asked me to, to redo this and do a reorder, it's very rare we do it, especially on a gallery piece. But we said, okay, let's see what we can do. I think we did about maybe half to a third of what they wanted. 
just because it, we didn't have any more material. So, so this, gorgeous. I will tell you though, of all the, the, the uh, material that came out of the deposit, this is the real high end, the, the real, real top, top grade that we had left, especially uh, what you see in the silver, in the ring, in the earrings, in the, the pendant, in the, uh, look, okay, look at the cabochons, look at the clarity and color of the cabochons in the bracelet, the ring, and the earrings. I mean, this is the top, 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 top grade material. You can't go wrong. Like I said, we very seldom do, do we do this and because of Sunday's Rock, which we're doing, we're gonna be with you every week. Um, we're, you know, they, they've asked us to, to repeat a few things where we had, we sold them out so quick that a lot of our viewing audience didn't get a chance to, uh, to even get in on it. And we've got it here and we have it now and it's back in stock. So here are the other pieces. The ring is available in 5 through 12. <coughs> the earrings are an inch and three eighths of an inch long. You do have that incredible cuff bracelet. I do, I think this ring is so charming. And that's all bezel set. And again, very, very large stones. I mean, this is glorious stuff, you know? Not little teeny shrimpy things you can't see. That would not be Jay for sure. Okay, so Ro mentioned the Verisite. And many of you might have missed the Verisite. And Ro really was complimenting Jay on the quality of it. So we wanted to bring it out. It was from last hour. If you don't have it yet, this is what Roe was complimenting Jay on, is the clarity and how brilliant this is. And Jay, you said, again, some of the best of the best on this one, right? It's not just the best of the best. It is the best. Wow. It's the clearest verisite you'll ever see in your life. You know, if you, if you know some other place, guys, I'm always in the market, right? <laughs> you know, give me a call, you know, to, you know whatever, Ring get all of Suzanne. Yeah, uh, make me wrong. I'm, I'm a buyer. I'm there, you know, as long as I can go to the deposit loans and go to the mine. Um, this, though, here again, uh, what makes it so unique, it's mined by the Penny family. It's an all-girl mining team, okay, which is unusual in a mine, but of all the verisites I've ever seen in my life that I've ever bought, that I've ever been part of, that I've ever been able to work with, and I've worked with verisite from around the world, this bar none, bar none is the top grade verisite. The clarity of this, the cleanliness of the material, the vibrant color, is just over the top. There it's is amazing. no other verisite like this. All right, and we do have the matching earrings, so there you go. So there you go, Ro. Thank you for complimenting Jay on that beautiful stone. And for those of you who missed it last hour, I have less than 200 total in both options. So again, if you're looking for the unusual, that's that's. I think that's why, you know, I know why I tune in. I know why I go online for Jay is, um, and you'll see if you go to my Suzanne Runyon on HSN Facebook page, you'll see me. If you scroll down, I'm in an outfit that has one of my favorite pieces of jewelry from any collector is Jay, and I'm wearing it. Oh, there it is. Thanks, guys. That multi-strand necklace. Love that necklace. I wear it all the time. And there's another video I just posted because I bought his today's special a couple weeks ago. Look, I try to resist, don't we all? And I just was like, no, I have to have it. And so if you want to check out even some of my most recent Jay purchases, you can see it. But the reason I love Jay's jewelry is you can expect the unexpected. Expect things that are really different and really beautiful. And I think that Verisite's a great example. This heart, the appetite teal necklace, you guys guessed so correctly, many of you did, um, is just, this. it's spectacular, right? It's fun to wear. And you know what you'll find? People stop and compliment you all the time. I was wearing that multi-strand the other day and I went to dinner and people are like, man, that is a beautiful necklace. And I'm like, yeah, it sure is. I'm glad I own it. All right, now we're going to a whole different direction. I did call this the rainbow show. Rainbow of colors. Now we're going to beautiful soft pink in an Australian pink opal. Now, Jay, I do want to read this comment because Amo Marie says, love Jay, own quite a lot. Probably one of my favorite from him are the four very, very large AAA grade Ethiopian opal necklaces from Jay. And again, those are amazing. But now Jay, unexpectedly, we're going to talk about pink opal. So that's fascinating that there indeed is a pink opal like this. Well, here's the thing. Okay. Um, you know, with us, we, we are again, for people who aren't aware of this, you know, we are a very, very niche business. Uh, I, I'm, real, I'm not aware of anybody that really kind of does everything that we do or how it works, how we work. I'm not aware of anybody. Um, one of the things that we do, of course, we're known for our turquoise and turquoises around the world. We have, uh, as far as I know, one of the largest collections of um, workable uh, turquoise rough. I don't know of anybody that has uh, 
material from the, a lot of the mines we have where they actually have enough quantities they can actually design with. Um, same with opals. So turquoise, opals, those are our two basic things that, that we focus on. All my trips start with turquoise or it starts with opal. This is a natural pink opal. I'll tell you how rare this is. Uh, I've only seen pink opal three times in my life. The very first was Peru, same thing with the Peruvian blue uh, opal. I, Peruvian pink opal, that's the uh, first time I ever discovered pink opal was in Peru. I still have a little bit of that rough uh, material left. Then there was uh, a material up in Idaho and it really, it was pink, but it, we called it ice cream opal. Do you know what I still have people? I still have people that write me and email me asking me if I have any more of that rough. Okay, I'm gonna put this to bed. No, okay, it doesn't exist anymore. I've got a piece in my, I've got a piece of my collection. That's it, that's the only thing I have. Okay, I don't have any more. Now, this material, and this is what's so cool. This comes from a good friend of ours, Glenn, in Australia. Um, we have pretty much the U.S. exclusive on this. I've never seen anybody else. I don't know if Glenn's ever sold this to anybody else. I have actually been with Glenn when they mine this. They, um, it, it's pretty interesting on the pink opal, okay? They go out and they literally, they, they have a road train. They go out into, it's in the northern Kennedy ring, Range, so it's on the north. Um, western side of Australia. In fact, there it is. They're, they're actually, that's at the mine. That's that's how they get it with the lift bags. That's the material right there, and that's Glenn. Glenn, unfortunately, couldn't make it to Tucson this year um, because it's not that he couldn't get out of Australia, but he um, to get back in, he would. It, would, it was almost a two-month process oh, to get back into the country. Wow. And, and right now, they're right, just so everybody understands this, okay, Right now, it's our winter, it's their, because their southern hemisphere, it's their summer. These guys are um, just kind of getting ready. Once it starts cooling down, then they'll go in and they'll start mining. So this is a really unique, natural, and I want to tell you that's the natural color of that material, and it's mined by our good friend that you just saw there, Glenn. And believe it or not, that shirt, okay, <laughs> <laughs> they, wear, they wear that shirt and they wear an orange one. And here's the thing, you're in the middle of nowhere. They'd have to mail you daylight. In fact, <laughs> if they would have caught me with that brown shirt on, I would have been in big trouble. Well, actually, Glenn would have been in big trouble. But they wear those shirts because anytime you're around any kind of equipment or anything like that, you're supposed to wear either that, that shirt or that, that color, or they have a, a like an orange shirt that looks like you like you went deer hunting in a disco. <laughs> Is that bright, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, you, you can't, I tell you, to wake you up. I mean, both oh, that shirt great. and then the orange shirt they wear. Oh my gosh. I mean, if you if you want to get woke up without a cup of coffee, that'll do it for you. <laughs> That's good for you. All right. So we're going to move on to our Chrome Dodge, <coughs> but still to come check this out. Wow. This is so pretty. This is our aquamarine and it's actually lapis together. So you've got two favorite stones in that whole blue family. We love that blue story. And we have the matching earrings and we have a ring as well. And the ring is only lapis. Um, these are all coming up. They're all on sale. Definitely want to take advantage of a sale price because who's, who don't want to pay full price? I know I don't. So stick around right there. By the way, in the pink opal necklace I have less than 70 in the ring I have less than 70 and I also have the cuff and the drop earrings still available by the way in the pink opal just to clarify it you can buy the pendant and then you have to buy the necklace those did not come together they were separate just want to make sure we said that so everybody knew that it is separate and I like to make sure you understand what's going on. Okay, so really quickly, I love this. So Sally, Sally, you're not an unusual customer. Sally, as many of you have asked, uh, would love for a little information on the history of the jewelry to come in with the jewelry. Jay has pondered that for many, many years. Uh, so we'll ask him that in just a second. Jill said, yes, that Verisite is amazing. Again, we had it last hour, we can show it again. Barbara says, years ago, she had a, she bought from you, Jay, a Verisite today special. She bought the necklace and ring, she goes, I love Love it. It's the same Verisite you're showing here. Uh, let's see. So we've got a lot of great comments, and I really uh, love you guys doing that. And uh, Nancy says, hey, Suzanne, how do you get the Verisite necklace that you showed? I've been looking for that beautiful green 
Uh, I have the pink opal from Jay. Oh, she has the pink opal from you, Jay, and she loves it. Uh, see you on Tuesday. Oh, Nancy, thank you. I'll explain what Tuesday means. Um, if you want the Vera site, let me show it again, guys. We have the matching earrings, too, and then we will do the chrome diopside. Uh, Kevin, can you guys pop up the atom number again? I am a full-service host here. So there's the Vera site. Nancy, I want to help you out. We're going to show you the item number. It's really easy. Go to .com. It's a couple of clicks. Or use that phone number that's located down at the bottom of the screen there, the 800 number. And you can also own this as well. Also, Nancy's very sweet. She says, I'll see you Tuesday. And the reason she will see me Tuesday is, just FYI, I do a really cool uh, Facebook-only show on Tuesday nights. This Tuesday, it's going to be Nancy, by the way, 7.30 p.m. East Coast time. It's very, very different than what we do on the air. And it's all about being creative. And it's only on Facebook. And we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you who join me every Tuesday night for the show, which is really, really fun. And then I'll be on the air Tuesday night after that. So if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, please do, because you can find out what that's all about, shows that are coming up. I'm always posting kind of crazy things I own from HSN and stuff I do in my life. So if you would, please follow Suzanne Runyon on HSN, and that would be on Facebook. You can also find me on Instagram. Okay, I got all that into. Amy says, hey, Jay and Suzanne, do you suggest sizing up on rings with the wider bands? Thank you. What do you say, Jay? Yes, I, you know, the, the thing with our, everybody knows like on the, uh, if, you've got a, if you've got any of our rings that have a wider shank or wide band, uh, even though they're made true to size, um, because of their width, you wanna go up one size. So if you wear a seven, Especially go to an eight, six, go to a seven, by, you know, just down the road. Like this, this is one that I would, it's borderline, but I would say go up the size. Go up the size, I yeah. would say, you know, when they're when they're really wide like that. Yeah, because normally They're made guys, true to size. Well, and I normally wear <coughs> six in our regular jewelry here at HSN, but I have to go to a seven with Jay's. Because of that handcrafted, there's so much silver on it, quite frankly. And he does really wide bands, which is giving you actually more silver and better quality. All right, Jay, I'm sorry, because I did want to get to all the notes. We only have about two minutes to talk about chrome diopside. I always say it's one of my faves, because it looks like you've plugged it in, and it's just come to life. Well, I'm just telling you right now, okay, I, I didn't see this at all in Tucson. I didn't, nobody had it. Um, this material is a Siberian. They call it Russian emerald. It's si Siberian material. Um, this is the natural rough material. Unfortunately, I don't have any more of this rough. These designs that you're looking at were some of the last designs that, we're, that, that we have in production. If there's other chrome dioxide in production, it's already in production. Just so everybody understands this, okay, we, when I come up here and I'm telling you that we make these by ourselves, by hand, from scratch, I'm not kind of like saying that to be saying that, right? That is the case. Do you know that we're already working almost toward the end of 2022? I'm working on designs for 2023. We have to work way, way out. Suzanne knows this, okay? Where, you know, everything is handcrafted from scratch, guys. Um, so a lot of times, um, like materials like this, I'm telling you right now, this was some of the last of the chrome diops material, the rush material that I had. Um, this material is extremely, extremely rare, very hard to get. And when you do see it, um, the prices are through the roof. It's so expensive. Um, I will tell you right now, I, you know, one of the things that my beautiful, lovely British bride, Sheila, is collecting right now is emeralds, right? Mm -hmm. That's her, her one of her latest things that she's trying to collect. Um, when I was in Tucson, I got to have a meeting with a friend of mine uh, who is mining emerald in Zambia. Oh, and um, I, I'm telling you right now, the rough material that he has, I bet if you laid this rough together side by side, you couldn't tell the difference. No kidding. That's how clean this is. This, and the, if you look at that, that's the natural color of this. This hasn't been enhanced. Um, the Siberian material, and here's the thing, there are several different areas where you can get chrome diopside from, Madagascar being one of them. If, you, if I, you know what I should do is I should have a, a, a show all the different uh, um, chrome diopside that I've had. I've got three of them from around the world. This one is like on fire. It's like electric. And this is what you want. Okay. It's also the rarest. It's also the most expensive. They can only mine this. If, um, and there's no one chrome diopside mine. They only can actually mine this for probably less than four or five months a year. The ground is frozen. So they can't get it. And it's all a bunch of uh, small uh, deposits, small miners who mine it all, and then they actually sell it to the person I got this from, who's the kind of like the big consolidator for this rough. 
Yeah, it's, and again, it, it literally does. It looks like it's truly electrified. <coughs> and like I said, you can always expect the unexpected. When you wear this one, whether it's St. Patty's Day, that was a good advice there on HSN on our Facebook comments. I love that one too. Uh, combine it with other pieces that you own. It's a standout. And please remember when you're buying the necklace, you do get the pendant. And if you are new, what's really wonderful is, look at this alone, just by itself without the pendant. That is a beautiful, beautiful green necklace. People will think you're wearing emeralds. You can take this, put it on a silver necklace and then wear it in frame. Look at that pretty design in the back, but frame it with the outer necklace. I mean, that's a wow look and you get both pieces when you're buying the necklace so you do get the pendant in this case and you do get the chain which is lovely all right so we're going to wrap that up now we're going to move on to aquamarine actually we're going to spend some time in the blue colors which is always really really popular and it's aqua combined with lapis now i have the aqua matching earrings and i have a lapis ring many of you already own lapis from jay it's a historically a really really popular stone that he brings to us so again if you've got a big chunky nugget necklace I know Jay's done a lapis heart necklace in the past that was very popular. If you want to layer, if you have a lot of aquamarine and you want to kind of make it pop more, layer it back to this necklace. That would look so beautiful. Chunky aquamarine necklace and then use this uh, kind of putting them all together would be really quite pretty. So this is a multi-strand, which is lovely, but it's a very difficult multi-strand. If you do a single color uh, gemstone multi-strand necklace, it's, it's relatively easy to do because you don't have to worry about it. But this one is almost like you would think almost like a necklace. Navajo woven rug look. It's much more difficult to do a multi-strand, but make all of this make sense and work right and lay on your neck correctly all at the same time. It's pretty difficult. So here's what we have. We have the ring in five through 12. The earrings, uh, you can see they're just an awesome, awesome little button earring. Uh, I have 120 earrings available. Uh, the ring, again, five through 12. The earrings, seven sixteenths of an inch, all surrounded by sterling silver. And the necklace is 18 inches of course with the extender tonight we've taken $47 off in this very unique combination so Jay I love this but it is quite difficult to string necklaces like this to make it look balanced and correct well you know it's all part of what we do and if you look at this these are again they're all cut from scratch from the natural materials I, I brought I actually have uh, samples of the rough material what makes it so unique okay Number one, the aquamarine. Okay, this this aqua, I wish I had more of this material. Unfortunately not, and unfortunately the area that I get that from is um, so closed down that you couldn't even mail them daylight. <laughs> There's no way to communicate with them. The only way to go there is to actually go up. It's it's a it's a really rugged trip to go. I, I don't have anybody that can get in the area right now. I don't know if you'll ever see that aquamarine again. I don't even know if they're mining. I don't even know what's going on up there. Um, and then the lapis, so not to bore everybody that's watching this, but this, I'm telling you guys, I am working, starting to work into 2023. You're gonna see less and less lapis. By the end of this year, you're gonna go, what happened to the lapis? All right, so this, and uh, that being said, is there lapis out there? Yes. Was there lapis in Tucson? No, and there wasn't, I mean, there was like, it was really funny because uh, Lou and Kelly, you know, the, you know, they, you know, because they hear me say this all the time. We went, we went by tables from guys from Afghanistan, right? Right. And they had a, they literally maybe have like 10 kilos of lapis rub. Wow. And then they might be, have a few specimens, right? Nobody has, you know, dump truck loads or even barrels of lapis material. It just, um, you know, the lapis that's out there right now that uh, I could go directly to the yards. I know where the yards are. I mean, they're hard to get to. But, you know, where there's literally tonnage of lapis, there's not a single, single solitary piece that is in this grade and this color. This natural high blue like this, this A-grade material that's what I consider the jewelry grade, is just non-existent. It started about five years ago. Um, I've seen the faucet get tighter and tighter and tighter. Nothing's coming out. You don't see any of this material. Tucson was one of the, the big the, the big things, okay? When you don't see it in Tucson, you're talking the world's largest gem and mineral show on planet Earth. And when you don't see it there, it's just not, it just doesn't exist. Now, are there little bits and pieces here and there? Yes. But I'm talking there is nobody that has uh, any kind of quantity 
on this grade of lapis. It just does not exist. All right, this so all comes from material I've collected over the past two decades. $47 off the necklace. The earrings are almost gone and they're great. There's a little simple button style earring and the ring is five through 12. That is in lapis alone. And again, I hope you loved it. I wanted to show the side of the ring because there's like little happy champagne bubbles all the way around the band. Isn't that fun? Just all those great details. And I love that faceting too, because it gives that stone so much extra sparkle. Stay right there. If you're on the line for this one, I know we've been really busy our last couple of hours. So stay there. I still have a couple more surprises for you, including the next one that's coming up. All right. So this one's very interesting. It's called the Brick Red Agate Necklace. Uh, and I also have the matching earrings. Sorry, I gotta make a big reach for this one to get to it. So there it is. Isn't this fun? So this is like, for me, if you ever go to a really great museum and the museum only brings in these custom crafted pieces, almost like one of a kind, that is exactly what this looks like. Very fresh, it's more modern, it's a bold statement piece. It's just really a fun look. Now again, 18 inches long, I've got it on the longest extension, which you can work up to another two and three quarters of an inch with the sterling silver extension. This is on sale, again, super prices tonight. Originally is one 67 right now 139.97 and of course please remember our five flex on everything only goes through tomorrow now we also have the matching earrings talk about a bold fun earring those are one inch and they're all completely done and surrounded by sterling silver with that little butterfly clasp all right jay we do have a couple comments uh marie wants to have ankle bracelets and emma marie wants to have gemstone hairpins and dog collar pendants like a little dog collar embellishment pendants which which would really be kind of cute if you could hook some embellished gems on your dog's collar. I think that's where she's going with that. That would be pretty adorable, Jay. Okay, well, it's a huge market. As far as ankle break bracelets, okay, this has been requested. I've worked very, very hard on doing this. <laughs> um, I have to tell you, it was more of a challenge than I could even imagine. I mean, uh, sizing is an issue. So anyway, we're still working on it. Um, okay. You know, I thought I, I thought I had it down. Uh, also, wearability. Um, you know, we, we, even though you can have great designs, if I can't make them functional to where I believe in them, then I don't do it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so far, we haven't figured it out, but we're working on it. And we don't, we don't want something that's going to fall apart. Okay. Now, what's missing on this? It is red brick agate. Okay. Like we talked about, agates just like jaspers are exclusive only to that one deposit. You won't find this anywhere. This is Brazilian brick red agate. It's a, it's a mine find. I don't know of anybody else that has this material. Um, this is a brand new agate. You've heard me say this time and time again. Agates are a blessing and they're a curse, okay? <laughs> they're, it looks lovely on Valerie. Uh, here's the thing with, uh, with agates. You see uh, Valerie's, right? Um, and you saw the one that Suzanne's just showing. Do you see that even though it's the same basic design, right? It's the same basic look, guys. But every one of them is uniquely different. There, there will no be, there is no matchy, matchy, matchy on this. It's a natural agate material. Here's the thing with agates. Um, agates are, well, I always say this, they're a blessing, they're a curse. They're a blessing. Do you see the polish on this? Do you see the shine? It will keep that. Um, the harder the material, the uh, traditionally, the harder it is, it's harder to polish. But once you get it polished, it will stay polished. Do you see the difference? Yeah, they're the same design, guys, but they're really one of a kinds. Mother Nature doesn't make anything matchy-matchy, right? And that's the cool part. That's how you know it's natural. That's how you know it's the real deal, right? That this isn't something that's some kind of faux or pressed material or something that they, you know, um, that we color enhanced or somebody has taken something and enhanced it. They all are unique in their own realm. Um, as far as I know, I, I don't know of anybody else that has this particular agate. Um, they're extremely hard to work with. The only thing you can cut agate with is something that's harder than it is. And in this case, diamond. You have everything, wow. all diamond bit. We polish it with black diamond, crushed black diamond, um, industrial diamond, and we also put uh, polish it with uh, black industrial sapphire. That's how we get the polish on this. It has to be something harder than the agate.
Okay, so Jill Marie had a funny thing. She said, oh my gosh, pink opal, which we're gonna remind you of. It would look amazing on my solid black grand puppy. <laughs> well, here's what you do. You buy the pendant, and if you'd like, hook that onto your dog's collar. Ah, uh, there you go. Check out that bail, get a little hook for it. It might work. Although, I don't know if I'd put pink opal on my dog, but it would look great. All right, here it is. Just a quick reminder. It's the necklace, it's the pendant. We've got the ring, we've got the cuff, and they're all featured price tonight. So really a nice, lovely savings on a very unique gem. Stone. Uh, one other quick note, uh, let's see. Jeannie says she loves the turquoise necklace that I mentioned in the picture of me on my Facebook page. Was it several necklaces or one? She would like to see it again. That is one glorious necklace that Jay made years and years and years and years ago. And I am so tickled I got it. You can see how vibrant that blue is and that is a single necklace. What's kind of fun though is if you start collecting Jay's pieces, especially if you might buy uh, the turquoise chain that was sold out earlier or last hour and then you add a really pretty turquoise something or rather maybe a pendant something next time you start to combine them together and you create that very voluptuous look so it's fun because you can think about taking your turquoise out even that great aquamarine with the lapis get your other lapis out put those two together and you can create kind of that much bolder look you're seeing in the design I'm wearing but no unfortunately that I bought years and years ago and I'm glad I snagged it when I did <laughs> it's, it's truly one of my favorite jewelry pieces of all time because it's it's that wow piece you know, I was I was doing that whole Scottsdale look. I was definitely doing a Tucson look in that outfit. My one friend, uh, she said, "Did you did you wear that downtown?" I go, "Yeah, of course I wore it downtown. I went to dinner right here in Florida." And she said, "Really?" And I said, "Uh, yeah." I said, "I don't mind rocking the look. It's okay, even though it's not necessarily a Floridian look. I was fine with it." All right, here we go. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna do a little quick encore because this was one of the most popular items we featured last hour. And again, just like the beautiful, I'll show you this too. If you really want to me what are kind of nature's miracles I think petrified wood this amber I think is so amazing because this is wood and this used to be tree sap uh, you know and again how interesting what nature and time can create so this is still available if you want to try an amber piece but this we're going to do a little encore presentation so originally this is 167 right now it's 139.97 and of course please remember five flex all over the place I think one of the reasons Jay this was so popular from last hour is the fact that you just get to work with so many great colors and it's surprising that wood would result in a gemstone like this well you know um, for people that don't know how petrified woods are formed it's uh, that's why you don't you don't find it uh, uh, on every continent even I mean it, it's it's one of those things that's very specific on how it's formed uh, remember when Mount St. Helens erupted blew up and blew all those trees down mm -hmm. right yep um, and then there was all that volcanic ash that covered those. It looked like, you know, that looked like pickup sticks. Um, you know what, Suzanne, I bet if you and I come back to planet Earth 30 to 50 million years from now, we know we could go to the Mount Helens, Helens St. Saint, uh, Saint Helens region and probably find petrified wood. I just want cool. to put that in your in your ear, okay? <laughs> okay good. So <laughs> in 30 to 50 million years, if, uh, that's probably... Um, that's what's going to happen. And how it forms is there was, um, just like Mount St. Helens, there's, there's some huge volcanic activity. Um, the trees are all bowed over. Then there's volcanic ash, and that covers it and encases it. So what it does is it, it blocks all the oxygen. And then over years and years and years of rain, and you know it's covered by uh, minerals and elements in the area. It leaches through the the water leaches through the the wood or the organic part. The organic part goes away, and what it, it's filled, it's like a mold, and it fills with the minerals in that area. And that's how the petrified wood is formed. You can actually petrified wood. Uh, they can cut it. And it's got the tree rings. They can actually tell oh, cool. how old it was. And also, like, if they had droughts or whatever. It's pretty, really, it's an amazing, amazing material. All right, I got to do this, Jay. Unfortunately, I got to wrap it up because we're out of time. I love you. Thank you for a fun show. I'll see you next Sunday. And I love working with you. You've got so much energy. I always feel great. <laughs> love it. Thanks, guys, for being online with me, too.
every Monday night. I'll be here to help you make your house a home. I'll bring you new ideas to keep you safe. To provide comfort. And convenience. So start your week with me. Watch Adam's Open House Monday nights at 9. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like 12-month VIP financing on select items, plus extra flex on beauty, jewelry, shoe, and fashion purchases all day every day, and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $40 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard.